Hi campers! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make paper chained people. The first thing you want to do is take a piece of paper and fold it accordion style. You want to try to get all even sections. There we go. After your paper is folded into even sections, you want to draw the outline of a person, just like this, on the top side of the fold. Next, you want to cut out the outline of your person. When you're done cutting out your person, you should open it up and have four equal people that are all holding hands. Now the only thing left to do is to color your people. When you're done coloring, it should look something like this. I hope you all had fun today learning how to make paper chained people. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome back to camp. It's Kirsten again. Um, I hope everyone's having a great week and is having a lot of fun at camp. Um, I have a new activity activity for you guys today. It's going to be a mindfulness and feelings activity. So well, all you're going to need is a piece of paper and pen. Anything you can find, it doesn't matter the color of it or anything, just anything you can write on. <laughs> and the point of this activity, it's called Let It Go. And what we're going to do is think about something that has been bothering us, something that we just don't feel confident about in ourselves or something, or that's been bothering us this past week, year, month, it doesn't matter. Just something that has been on your mind lately that maybe you would like to get off your mind. So what you're going to do is you're going to write it down. And then when you have it written down, mine is comparing myself to others. Sometimes I feel like I try to measure my success by looking at other people and seeing how far they've gone. But, you know, I shouldn't do that. I'm happy with what I've done so far. So, I'm going to write it down on this piece of paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold it up. And... We're going to rip it. And by ripping that, you're acknowledging that you feel the way you feel. And it's okay to feel that way. But it's not okay to feel like that every single day and, and let it change your mood. So we're ripping it up to let it go and let it be in the past. So you can do this as many times as you want. You can write down as many things as you want on the paper just to get those feelings out of your body. Okay? Bye guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week at your camp. Have fun! Hey guys, my name is Virginia and today I'm going to tell you about a music activity that you can do. I really like this activity because it's simple and fun and you don't need anything to do it. All you need is just to be to have your creativity and something to write it down on maybe. Um, so what this activity is, is just writing your own song. You can make it a rap and have it rhyme, or you can not do that if you don't want to. And you can write it about whatever you want if you have something going on personal. I know I used to do this as a kid a lot, and I would write about things that were going on in my life, and it was a really nice stress reliever to do that. Or you can just make it fun and be goofing around with your friends. Um, so you can really do anything with this. 
if you want to make it personal, you don't have to share it with anyone. Or if you want to do it with friends and family, you can perform it. You guys can both make songs and perform it for each other. You can put, you can make a beat. Like if one friend makes the beat in the background and then somebody sings the song over it. Or if you go on YouTube and you type in like instrumental beats for whatever type of song you want, like sad, slow, fast, hip hop, you can pull up beats and play them. Get a real time. Let me see. I just typed in instrumental hip hop beat I'm on YouTube. I'm a bird's eye view of your projects. Create projects. So I could play this in the background and make music to over that, or you can just do it with nothing. So there's a lot of options for this activity and you can do it anywhere, anytime, because you don't really need anything to do it, which is why I really like it. Um, even now, when I'm bored with my friends, sometimes we'll make raps and like go back and forth with each other and it's a lot of fun. And if it's personal, it can be a really nice stress reliever. So I really do like this activity and I hope you guys do too. So thank you for watching. Hello everyone, my name is Virginia and today I'm going to show you a nice nature outdoor activity that you can do. All you need for this activity is some rocks and something to draw on them. I have some markers, you can also use paint or whatever you want to draw on with. Um, so all you need are some rocks. If you don't have any outside your house, I had some outside my house, you can go on a walk. If Depending on how far you go or how far you're allowed to go, you might need adult supervision to go out and get a rock. But if you have any outside your house like I do, then it's really simple and easy. And so today, these are the rocks that I have. They're very flat, so I thought they'd be nice to draw on. I drew on this one just like a design. So you can draw like designs on them and like put them outside your house and like decorate it a little bit or you can make pet rocks and draw on them. So I'm gonna make a pet rock real quick. I'm just gonna draw a face on it and I'm gonna name him. I'm gonna name him Ben. So this is Ben. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot you can do with this. You can paint them too and it comes out a lot darker and really nice, but I didn't have any paint in my house. So, or like I, I'm gonna keep this one. I drew my name on it. It's like a, a lot smaller one so I can keep it in my room. So you can decorate them, you can keep them for personal, or you can just have a pet rock. <laughs> so there's a lot you can do with it and it's really simple and easy. Um, so you don't have to go out and like really buy anything. Hopefully you have markers or paint in your house and rocks nearby where you live. <clears throat> and yeah, so I hope you enjoy this activity if you try it. I know that it was a lot of fun for me, and my mom's gonna really like it when I decorate <laughs> the outside of our house with all of these rocks. So, so thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy doing this activity.